this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to do a sumo deadlift with somebody that does conventional all the time. Yeah, when I blow up, I'm a sore high like Peter Pan. In real life, be living out my dreams. If I'm waking up, it's in a foreign land. So she's never done sumo before, so I'm gonna try and teach her how to do it. This might be something she's gonna do for her future meets. The reason why I like doing sumo is because it's a good tool to have because I find even for me in my training, if I get back pain, I like to switch to sumo for some of my working sets. I just wanna see you do what a sumo do? without, like if you were to just do it. I've only done it once thinking. in my life, so I don't really know. She's never really done it. I'm just gonna go based on what I've seen people do. It's actually balances, pretty good. Balance is whack though. I feel it, holy In your hamstrings? In my hamstrings, yeah. What are you thinking when you deadlift? Wedging and then pushing like. Okay. This was my mistake for the longest time with sumo deadlift is I was thinking of wedging and what, when I thought of wedging, I thought of like oh. trying to be really upright. Oh, okay. That was my problem. But when you think like with a conventional deadlift, you're actually pretty forward, right? Yeah. So you're keeping it the same. Yeah. It's very similar as conventional. For me anyways, that's the way I like to pull and I feel more stable. Okay. I personally, I would start with more straighter feet to see how it feels first. Like this? Just start like that okay. and then you could slowly bring them out. Bring your feet wider though. You have, yeah, it you feels have the really unstable. Ability. So right now you're a little too close to the bar, sorry. Oh, you're okay. too close to the bar. So I like to get a little bit further. Okay. So probably about on that second strap there. Gotcha. Okay, and then all I'm thinking of when I get into position, instead of thinking like reaching over to the bar, I think of letting those shins fall forward ah, to okay. reach for the bar. Gotcha. So now have your hips up higher, just like you would conventional. Oh. Okay, right there, and I'd pull from there. Good. And how does that feel? That feels more stable. I almost think of it as like I'm trying to grab the floor, and when I grab the floor, automatically yeah. I feel like I'm on the outsides yeah, of my feet a bit. That's what I feel. And that's normal. Okay. What I want you to do is play around with foot positioning now. Okay, I want to try this, like a so little. Try wide, just yeah. Just because that's Give what it's pushing out. Get those feet, yeah. I like that better. Does that feel better? Yeah. The one common mistake a lot of sumo pullers they start to they start exaggerating the hips open, right? Okay. I don't even really think of it at all. I feel like my body is automatically going to go into its strongest position. Yeah. And like even for you, I don't think you're really thinking about it, right? I'm not. And it already looks good. Okay. It already looks solid. What's a weight you normally feel like kind of challenged when you deadlift? Um, right now? starting at like 200 or up. Let's try 185 without a bell and see how it feels. Okay. I want you to go start with without cueing your hips open and okay. then on the next one keep hips open. So think hips high. There we go. Good. Okay. And try cue, hips. cueing hips open this time. So the other one was closed. This one's open. How's that feel? First one's better. Yeah. Because I was like thinking hips open, so like. Yeah, and that's what I notice when people start sumo. They really try and crank their hips open. They're really upright, but what happens is you can't really wedge. Yeah. You're almost like squatting the weight up at that point, which I've seen some lifters are able to do that, but for me personally, I, I prefer, especially like you, you're a conventional deadlifter, I prefer not really thinking of the hips open. Yeah. It, I prefer using a little more back. I can feel the difference now, like with the weight on the bar. Yeah. It's, it's easier for me to like, just do it like how I do conventional. And how does your back feel Oh, I don't feel it at all. Don't feel it at all. It's perfect, I love That's it. That's what I'm saying. Let's throw on a, a 10 here. This is beltless too. <laughs> okay. Do one more. There you go. Some people, they're just better conventional than sumo. Like yeah. for you, I think you're like me, you can kind of do a bit of both. Mm -hmm. But I think you're almost, it's almost looks effortless. Sumo, and you're doing it without a bell right now. What is this on the bar? This is 205. 205. Okay. Let's do 225 for one, without okay. a bell. Good. Hip high a bit. There you go. Good. 
Perfect. And it looks so easy. Good job. That's good. There you go. Okay, so China is gonna do a conventional deadlift with no belt, and we'll see what the difference is. Wait, can I try again? Yeah, try again if you want. So I can tell you already that she's already reaping the benefits of doing a sumo deadlift because she could do it easily without a belt. That's crazy. Try it. Well, let's do it. We'll try sumo right now. See how it feels. <laughs> See? That's ridiculous. It's like a cheat code, right? That literally lo looks so fake. Like but it looks not so everyone is gonna be. Not everyone's gonna be like you. You're like a special case, case scenario. Yeah. Like for me, I, I'm I'm I could pull both ways, and for me, most of the time conventional feels better. But if you look at your build, right? So she has short torso, long arms, and and longish medium femurs. So like get into position. For what? For sumo. If you look at her right now, look how long her arms are. Like, it, eventually get those hips up. Don't lift, don't lift. But get those hips up a little more, right there. Like, the range of motion from the bar to her hip is very short. So even conventional, she's still pretty good. But it's a lot longer of a range of motion from her hip to her the barbell. So hip to barbell, longer range of motion. It's a lot harder for somebody with like, let's say they have really short arms. Yeah. They're kind of screwed with their with their lift for both sumo and conventional. For you, you have a build to do really both. The problem is, is like showing somebody the right way to do it. Yeah, and especially that you're and here in with person. The right per like doing it over cues. video would be really hard, but I'm glad that we did it while you're here. Because a lot of the time there's misconceptions and then you might be opening your hips yeah. when I don't want you to, right? Yeah. Like that's what happens. So I'm hoping in this video, this helps kind of show you guys how it looks in real time so that you could possibly try it out yourself and use the same cues that I used with her. If you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to leave a like, drop a comment below for any other video suggestions, and make sure to subscribe. We'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Yeah, when I blow up, I'ma soar high like Peter Pan. In real life, be living all my dreams. If I'm waking up, it's in a foreign land. Whole wrist covered up in ice. Dealership, never ask the price. I hit the molly ball with my dogs. Yeah, I swipe it once without thinking twice. Cause this what I was made for. Man, I know this what I can.